is up guys, Stephen Womack, welcome back to another daily tutorial. As you know, I read all of your comments and I read Stormy Bree a few times now. Uh, so today I'm going to take a look at Stormy Bree and uh, show you a little tutorial, Lightroom edit on the Stormy Bree look. She's a model influencer, I guess. Uh, she has 1 million followers on Instagram and uh, I think I know why because her pictures are amazing. Um, she does a a brown warm edit and that's what I want to show you today once again only using your free Lightroom app and of course your smartphone so before we jump right in let me tell you that on my website in the link below there's a free preset free filter preset um, also there's all of the other filters that I do also the filter um, that I'm gonna cover in this video so if you don't want to do the whole tutorial just check out my website and uh, get the filters then also, I really want to connect with you guys on Instagram since I really want to see what you come up with after seeing my tutorials. I'm super excited in what you do. My Instagram handle is at Stephen Womack. Just tag me in your posts or, or give me a DM and I'd be happy to, to jump into conversation with you guys. If you haven't already, also subscribe to my YouTube channel since I'm uploading daily videos uh, to help you guys create the look that you want to create. So. I've said enough, let's jump right in. This is my Instagram filter tutorial. So first of all, we open up the Lightroom app again and choose our picture. I took this picture of my bro, Sebastian White. Check him out on Instagram, link is under the video. Um, and to start off, we wanna hit the light and check out the curve. Now I want you to pull up the bottom spot just a little bit and then just slighten out the curve a little bit and make it look exactly like this curve in this picture. Um, copy it and once you've copied it exactly like it is here, we're done with the curve and now we want to fix the exposure. So we push it up a little bit, in this case to about plus 0.22 or 24 and the contrast will leave it as it is. For the highlights, we're going to pull them down a little bit to about negative 23 and the shadows we're gonna leave them as they are the whites down to negative 25 is good and then the blacks we're gonna leave them as they are as well so we jump over to the colors and we want to push up the temperature to about plus 12 not too much plus 12 is perfect and for the vibrance we also want to push that up a little bit to about plus, plus nine is good. Then we scroll down to the saturation and we want to pull the saturation down to about negative 29 or 27. Now we're done here so we hit the color mix on the upper right and for the red tones we want to leave the hue as it is and just pull down the saturation to about negative 20. Then for the orange tones, what we want to do is leave the hue as it is and push up the saturation to about plus 32 and pull down the luminance to about negative 50, 57, 58 is good. For the yellow tones, we want to pull down the hue to the orange area to about negative, negative 50, 958 and uh, leave the saturation and luminance as it is jump over to the green tones hue and saturation at zero is good pull down the luminance all the way to negative 100 then we jump over to the aqua tones we pull down the saturation to negative 100 jump over to the blue tones and we pull down the luminance to about negative 45 is perfect and we're gonna leave the purples and the pinks as they are so we're done for the color here we jump over to the effects panel and now we want to boost the clarity just a little bit to about plus 30 for the dehaze we want to pull down to negative 8 in this case and leave the vignette at 0 and scroll down to the grain pull the grain up to 25 that should be perfect and now scroll up and hit the split tone button 
Now this is where we really get the warm orange look into the picture. So for the highlights, we wanna move the hue to about 48 and the saturation to about seven. So we're 49.7 now. And uh, the shadows, same thing. We want to make them warm a little bit and pull over to the 30, 32 hue and the saturation of about seven. or now five, so it's 35 now, um, which is good too. And um, we're gonna leave the balance as it is. We're done with the effects. Jump over to the details section, leave the sharpening, and just noise reduct a little bit to about 21, and also color noise reduct a little bit to about 23. So we still have a quite natural look, but all in all it's warm and cozy, um, like sun-kissed kind of look, um, inspired by the Stormy Bree look. Guys, that's it, the Stormy Bree look is done. I'm super happy with our result. Uh, I hope you guys are happy as well. Uh, she does a lot of different edits, but I think mainly we, we covered the warm, uh, warm orange edit that she does a lot. I hope you're happy with it and this was helpful content. Once again, just subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos. Let me know in the comments what I can do for you next. And also connect with me on Instagram at Stephen Womack since I'm always up for conversation in my DMs or tag me on your posts. Now before ending this, once again I want to tell you on my website, the link is below, you can find all filters that I cover in my YouTube videos. Um, just go check it out and I'd be happy to see you there. Or if not, see you at least in my next video. Peace.